the engagement letter is very important for our bookkeeping business. This letter acts as our roadmap. It tells our clients what we will do and what we won't do. It lets them know what our price is. It lets them know how long that price is good for. It serves as a good compass and protects your client and then also you, okay? So I feel like the engagement letter is something that all of our businesses need to have established as we begin building out our bookkeeping businesses. So what I'm going to do is walk through the engagement letter. It is just a phenomenal tool to have in your back pocket. And I want you to know all the little pieces to it. I'm going to walk through with you. I have updated this from what I originally started with. Um, with my engagement letter. I've added a few things. So we're going to walk through. I'm going to share my screen with you. And pull up the engagement letter. Okay. So right now you should be able to see the engagement letter. And I have changed all names and all the information on this. So they're not, it's not real addresses. It's literally made up. So don't worry about that. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to walk through the different pieces of the engagement letter. So we start out with this is what we're going to provide for you. And our price is this amount. But I have added a few words here that you will see. It says price is locked in for 60 days. This is important when you're just beginning your bookkeeping business because it's going to take some time to get a feel for your pricing. And so what I don't want you to do is lock yourself into a pricing package formula that you're not going to make a profit at it. So what I encourage you to do, especially at the beginning, is work through at least 60 days worth of bookkeeping reconciliation to get a good feel for if you're making a profit with the client, okay? So this is how we do that in the engagement letter by protecting us. As you get experience and get better with it, you may can take this out. Um, but what you do is you'll go back to them after 60 days and send it back to them. Okay, we're good at 380 a month. Um, this is what we're going to be for a year, for 12 months, and we'll reevaluate next year. But for short term, this is a really good phrase to have inside of our engagement letter. Then I talk about the payment terms. I like to get auto payments set up if I can with my new clients because it makes things flow a lot easier um, with collecting your monthly recurring bookkeeping income. So I have in here that, you know, if it goes over a month and you haven't paid us, things are going to have to change. We may have to end our relationship as me serving you in the bookkeeping capacity. Um, I say payments are accepted through these different ways. I talk about what I won't do. And then I talk about what I need from the client. This is where we can put different information in here that we may need in a timely fashion um, so that we can get our job done. That is one of our biggest hurdles as bookkeepers is gathering the information back from our clients. So. Like I said, the engagement letter, we lay out what we will do and what we won't do. And the reason I have on here documents we may need from the owner is because um, typically we're running payroll for most of our clients. And so I need to know their date of birth. I can get that from the driver's license, their social security number, and then the name of their business. So these are just things that I run into. And that's why I have it in here because typically you're going to need these things from your clients. If you are opting not to do payroll in your bookkeeping business, then think through, you may not need some of these documents, but this is for most bookkeepers do end up running payroll, not all of them, but this is in there to cover that. Um, 
and I talk about when this engagement letter begins. And um, there's just some language in here that's kind of needed for legal legality here. Um, so you'll see that engagement is made on a time and materials, best efforts basis. I talk about hardware, software, termination. If either one of us needs to terminate, this is how we'll do it. Um, Let's see. And then I go into if you need services outside of our the scope of this engagement letter, this is what we need to do. We need to add those in and then I can adjust our pricing for that. One of the important things, too, is receiving your retainer. You need to be paid for your work ahead of time if you can make that happen. Um, one other tip that I like to encourage everybody to do is I like for you to date your invoices. Try to send your invoicing out for your clients the last day of the month so that in the month of October, you're not asking for an invoice in October. You're asking for the September invoice. It just helps you if the client doesn't pay immediately to say, hey, the September invoice hasn't been paid yet. It's October 10th. You know, can, can you pay us soon? That's just one other little tip, too. But one other thing that I have added in here that I really like that we all need to have on our engagement letters is a testimonial. And so I have come up with some really good language here about we take pride in our commitment to providing exceptional bookkeeping services. And here is a satisfied client. And then here is a testimonial from this individual. It's really cool if you can have a testimonial from the same industry. If not, that's okay too. We just need a testimonial on this engagement letter because this is another way that we know our clients are going to see us. This is a way to build our trust with them. And we might as well take advantage of them reading through the engagement letter to be able to say, hey, by the way, this client is really satisfied with us and we have served them well. Here's an example. And then they sign... Um, and then I just have in here about monthly documents needed again so that we keep the flow going of what we need from our clients. So the engagement letter acts as our roadmap with our clients. We are going to be gaining clients into our businesses that are going to pay us a monthly recurring pricing package which is awesome for our business. It's a great business model for bookkeepers. And so when we do that, we just want to make sure that we are clearly communicating with our potential clients what's expected of us and what's expected of them. This is an easy, quick way to build professional standards into your business and to be able to roll out your bookkeeping businesses.